December 1st, 2020, more practice. All right, so you save $10 each week. Which graph shows this ratio? Hmm, so $10 each week. So for one week, we can fill in this little ratio table to help us. For one week, we save $10. So one week, we save $10. All right, what about two weeks? Well, if we save $10 for one week, we're going to save $20 for two weeks. How about three weeks? You got it, $30. And four weeks, $40. All right, now let's see if this is what we have graphed. All right, the first one, um, x-coordinate is 1, y-coordinate is 10. So we go over 1, up 10. Yes, we do. So we went over 1, we went up 10. Let's take a look at the next one. We go over 2, up 20. Over 2, up 20. We do that. However, what are we looking at? What do we notice here? So it looks like this A and C are the same table. Go over 1, up 10, yeah. But we can rule out B because over 1, up 10, that only goes up to about 5. So we can rule out B. So I can X that off. Um, so you can X off B if you'd like. So these two look like they're the same. So over 1 up 10, yes. Over 1 up 10. Over 2 up 20, yes and yes. Over 3 up 30, yes and yes. Over 4 up 40, yes and yes. So what is different about graph A and C? Hmm, what's different? Well... They're the same graph, except they're labeled different. Oh my goodness. All right, so when we used our points here, our weeks was the x-axis. So the x-axis, remember, is going side to side. So weeks should be on the bottom. This is amount saved. Not that amount saved. Um, I'm going to uh, cross off those points because those are wrong. This one, weeks, yes, on the bottom, on our x-axis, perfect. And our y-axis should be our amount saved, up and down amount saved. Yes, yes, yes. So C is our correct answer. And that's it. That's all you have to do for the more practice. Great job.